A new show on Hallmark Plus is celebrating people who are making an impact in their communities. This morning, we are joined by the host and Hallmark queen, Lacey Chabert, with more on her new heartwarming series. Lacey, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Okay, so the show is called Celebrations with Lacey Chabert. It is so cute. It is so heartwarming. Basically, you go out and you throw surprise parties for community heroes, people who deserve it. I'm curious though, you in your personal life, do you like to entertain? Are you a party throwing person? I am, I yeah. love to entertain, I always have. Whether it's a dinner party or a birthday party. Now um, I just celebrated my daughter's eighth birthday. She always comes up with these fun themes and you know, I consider myself an amateur DIYer. <laughs> I try to bring <laughs> all this to life. So I was so excited and had this idea for this show that we would you know, celebrate heroes and people who are deserving of um, the spotlight and to be acknowledged. And I just the journey of making this show was an inspiration every single day. There are so many people out there who are doing such incredible things in their communities and to have a chance to throw them a party and also, you know, try and do meaningful things um, to support their efforts. It was just so heartwarming for me personally. Can you give us a little hint, a little tidbit of one of these stories that stuck out to you the most from the season? Uh, I mean, all of them did. It would be impossible to pick a favorite because they're all truly inspiring. Um, but one of our, our first episodes that's out, Mrs. Murphy, she's a second grade teacher who started something called Kindness Club. And to hear and see the impact that this club has on the lives of children and then the way that they, you know, then are in the world and the way that they learn to treat other people and, and, and to express their gratitude. And it was just remarkable. And all throughout the episode, as we're planning the big celebration, we get to learn about our heroes more in depth by talking to their family and friends and coworkers and the people that they've directly impacted. And I'm telling you, every one of these stories is uh, it's it's a tearjerker and such a it touches your heart. Yeah, well, a big Kleenex budget on the show, right? Where everybody, everybody <laughs> for sure. Their eyes, uh, there were their many eyes. times where I was like, and I'm crying and I can't stop yeah. crying and <laughs> maybe we'll cut that part out. <laughs> but I was genuinely touched. There's nothing harder than trying to not cry on TV. OK, so you like to totally. entertain. Uh, we know you are the queen of Hallmark. Uh, I'm curious, do you feel pressure when it comes to Christmas decorations in the house? <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, yeah, yeah. a tiny bit. I mean, but it's kind of pressure that I put on myself because I love Christmas decorations so much and I decorate very early. <laughs> I know that's a controversial yeah. thing to do. <laughs> Either you're into it or not. Um, but I just, Christmas time for me brings up some of my favorite childhood memories. And so when I get to have, you know, that time of year rolls around and I get to pass on those traditions to my daughter, it's just my favorite thing. Okay, so one of our favorite things here uh, are the Hallmark Christmas movies, of which you are the star of many of them. We play a game here called Movie or Made Up, where I read <laughs> the plot of a movie and my friends here on the show have to guess if it's real. Will you do me the honor of playing with us here a quick round of it? Of course I will. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's real quick. I read you a short plot in the lazy. title. Uh, this okay. is Courtney. She's hey. playing as well. Hey, uh, Courtney. Here we go. First round. A lawyer goes home for Christmas after breaking up with her fiance. She reunites with a childhood friend who helps her realize what matters in life. An impromptu archery lesson leads both to discover feelings they never knew were there in the Christmas bow. Movie or made up, Lacey? <laughs> I'm gonna go movie. That's a great title. Cool. I'm gonna say made up. That one is made up, and oh! Lacey Chabert just gave me the greatest compliment of Yay! my life because she thinks it could be a real movie. <laughs> okay, quickly moving around to a baker's romantic plans with her workaholic boyfriend go awry when a chance meeting with Santa strands the couple in a charming town with her guy friend. Mm. There she rediscovers her Christmas spirit and finds out the man of her dreams may not be her boyfriend at all in Matchmaker Santa. Oh. Well, um, I'm sorry, hold on. I don't think it's fair that I play this because I was in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> That's yes, awesome. indeed, Lacey. Was, okay, final That's round, awesome. here we go. I feel like I cheated on that round. <laughs> yeah, a TV reporter is trying to uncover the secret Santa granting wishes around town, but when, she, when the boss orders her and her rival to work together, the biggest story of the year turns out to be a love story in Christmas at 11. Movie or made uh, up? I feel like it's made up, but should be a movie. Is that an answer? Oh, see, I'm going to say it's a movie. That one's made up. Oh! This is the greatest day of my life, Lacey <laughs> Chabert. You just, you just pitched two movies that I think should be movies, so there you go. Okay, so <laughs> I, I believe that means you're now attached to these projects. All of the paperwork <laughs> sent to you. 
and we'll work right something out. Live TV. Uh, <laughs> the, so uh, the new show, Celebrations with Lacey Chabert, it is fantastic. <laughs> it is streaming now on Hallmark Plus. Uh, we love the show. We look forward to seeing the movies you have this year as well, Lacey. Thank you for the time, too. Thank you so much. Have a great day. <laughs> I love that she played along. And you, okay, so now I feel like you're going to have to put screenwriter on your resume. Well, I have to actually write this. You script. have to actually get the script. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe she said never been movies. <laughs> well done, Dabs. Well done. So, do I put my two weeks' notice in today? No, no. Oh. <laughs> Eggs hatched, not yet. <laughs>